Hi, Gemini. This is just with your January 13, 2020 <laughs> weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. I had to stop myself for a minute. I'm sure all of you can relate. Um, you want to say 19, but no, it's it's officially 20. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you enjoyed, for those of you who took a, took, um, a look at your yearly, um, I'm leaving it down in the description box below if you'd like to take a look at your yearly tarot reading for the year overview um yeah it was some really interesting things that gemini should be looking forward to and i'm back guys i know some people were thinking that um, i was leaving the channel no 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 uh so let's get into your weekly reading now uh for some of you i do see that this week and not even this week i feel like the first quarter for you guys is going to be go 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 action, 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 um, and a lot of things kind of happening around you, right? Um, some of you, there's like this calm. I don't know why I feel like there's going to be a storm at some point, but some of you may be in a calming place, okay? A lot is going on. A lot is coming at you, but you are, as they say, the star baby. You may be all the talk, right? Getting a lot of attention, um, I think you like it. I think you can handle it. Uh, some of you are liking this attention. You can handle the, the attention. It may have even increased your dividends, your finances, right? Um, but you have to make a decision. There's something that you need to decide whether or not you're, you're going to move forward or you're going to be done and move on from a situation. Now, there's someone who could be part of your problem or part of your solution. And either they're not sure exactly what's going to come of the two of you or you are not completely sure. This may not be the week that the first thing you're thinking about is going out, socializing and, and hanging out with other people, not checking in on your other people because you have so much going on. And there's some things riding on this. Now, again, like I said, you can be, be you could be the more convincing one or someone is trying to convince you of something. If you're the one being convinced Gemini, particularly Gemini women, you may find it a little difficult to see clarity in the situation, right? And people around you may not uh, be as clear as you are as well. So it may be difficult for you to make an accurate decision this week. If you can table it, it would be great for you to do that because as we get closer into next week, you get clarity, okay? If you have been holding off on a decision or waiting for a decision to be made. It doesn't have to be a um, one-to-one -one relationship. It could definitely be in career matters, right? Then expect something to come through going into the following week because it does look really good. Money looks good for you guys this week with the money that you make, and that's not for all of you, right? But for those of you who are making money, the money that you're making um, looks pretty stable, especially if you work your, your if you have your own business, right? Um, you may have two streams of income. One may be really producing dividends than the other, right? Um, and I feel like you guys are in for a, a very serious ride in 2020 when it comes to career matters and business making moves. Uh, for those of you, if you're thinking about perhaps collabing with someone, make sure that you have all the information, especially how much money you're going to make, how much you're going to be owed. Make sure that you're being Treated fairly, Gemini's are really keen on making sure that that they, they advocate for themselves. So make sure that you're doing that. Um, you can, if you're planning to collab, partner with someone. It may be going really well right now, but down the line, someone may decide to say, well, no, I'm not going to move forward with this. Actually, I'm going to cut this out. Home life looks really stable, really good. You may have someone that you can truly depend on, but there can be some form of a loss or sadness that looms in the home. I get someone's missing someone, someone left. It could be a temporary leave or it could be obviously permanent, but I get a uh, sadness because someone isn't there anymore. Um, and there is a dwelling on that. Whatever this sadness is for a lot of you Geminis that can relate that I'm reading for, that is something that you're going to get a handle on because it's more mental than anything. Um, it's kind of like a mind heart thing, but you will get a handle on this loss and this sadness. And if it's around you, like someone in your home, 
they too will be able to overcome it. It just is going to take a little bit of time. Here's what it looks like to me. And it could have something to do with a friend, a family member, someone that's kind of close to the other person, obviously, right? I don't have to say that part. Now, when it comes to uh, area of love, well, a situation where someone isn't completely, like someone's getting to know a person or they're with a, an individual, right? And it's going really well. It's kind of taken off real quick, Um and you have to be kind of careful that someone isn't becoming codependent to the other person. You guys may be interested in uh, crossing relationship and business, right? You may find yourself having an opportunity to work with this person, collab with this person in some way. And again, the financial agreement or prospect needs to be clear before just entering. So don't enter into something just by a verbal contract. Make sure that you're very clear about what you guys are going to do moving forward. Now, someone kind of wants all in. They just want you and them to be together and that's it. Um, but some, the other person's not too sure. You may not be too sure if you're ready to completely cut out everyone that you know and everyone that could be a possibility for the, just this person. You're really not sure. Um, there's some aspects here that probably sits well with you when it comes to just being independent. You're satisfied with where you have be, have 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 um have come, how far you've come, and you're happy in that stance. Yeah, you enjoy this person. Yes, it's developing quite quickly. Um, you're attracted to them. This could be a literal Leo that you guys are dealing with. You know what I always say about the Gemini Leo connection. Um, but again, not too sure if you want to kind of have this person in your life completely, all right? Uh, and I feel that this person, if they were spending time with you and they have left, there can be some missing them or you being missed, that sort of thing. Uh, but don't think that you can hold out too long. This person is going to allow you to hold out too long and it can go vice versa, but someone isn't going to let the other person wait too long before a decision has to be made. Okay. It could take, you know, one, two, three weeks or months, but decisions time has to be made eventually of are you are we in, are you in or are we out? Are we doing this or are you not? Um, and I think if someone stews for too long, someone else is going to make a decision and say, OK, maybe to me is a no. Um, one day to me is a no. And they may cut the cord. Now, for you single Gemini's. Love is coming in pretty quickly. Hold on to your seats. If it hasn't already come, you will have someone coming into your life. Some of you, it's going to be delayed or you may even miss an opportunity because you're not putting yourself out there. Um, you may be all business, no play. Um, you may have a lot of worry about finances or, again, a major decision when it comes to home life, family life, um, work life, making those changes in your life. So you're not really putting yourself in that place of socializing and opening yourself up to other people. Although there's a lot of attraction um, energy that you're putting out to other people, you may not even be paying attention that you're talking to someone and now they're attracted to you. Like, oh, wow, your voice is amazing or you look stunning, that sort of thing. Uh, but you're not interpreting that as flirting. And so some of you could be missing the mark. Make sure that if you're interested, <clears throat> excuse me, put yourself out there. But I feel if anyone is a little intimidated by you, you'll find that next week someone may speak up and say something and let, let their attraction to you be known. Um, you may not be sure if you're 100% ready to get yourself back out there again, but it's kind of like if you've recently met someone, you know, you know, okay? Um, they're hitting all the marks for you. You're hitting all the marks for you. And there's just this not sure and not knowing if you're 100% ready to move forward to the next stage. But I see a, a love connection here between you and another person. This could be mutual like. This could be, okay, we're both falling in love. This could be I'm um, head over heels for you. And they're feeling the same, okay? Um, Others of you, I feel that there is, or I should say couples, Geminis, okay? But let me go back to singles, because singles, you know, you have to be careful because if there's someone, like I said, you're just now meeting and, and things are starting to move, you may feel like a little too quickly or someone feels like it's going too quickly. They may just 
cut you off. Someone may just go silent and cut the situation off out of the blue by weeks and going into next week. Um, and simply because someone likes their independence, they, they've grown comfortable in that and they don't want to rush into anything. I do feel like if, if there's just complete silence, be patient, someone will be communicating, um, towards the next week, you will hear from this person. There will be communication very quick, probably short communication without emotion may even come across a bit brash or crass, but it is truthful. Okay. Communication that's going to come to you. Um, now couple relationship, Gemini's, let me say Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. There was a breakup. Mm -hmm. There was some kind of a breakup and some of you, um, have had a hard time trying to rectify the situation and get things back on track with someone. Firestein is very much prominent. So Aquarius, Sagittarius, or a Leo looks to be very prominent here. Um, uh, someone could have gotten caught with other people, other stepping out of the relationship. And it's been very difficult for someone to, um, forgive and forget and to let's just let bygones be bygones, right? And there is a missing link in the foundation of your relationship. So there is a mourning, a loss of what could have been, what once was, right? And I do feel like, Geminis, you guys are 100% going after this person. You're not going to let someone go. You're not going to let them get away. Um, you've either tried or you will try. You will give it your best shot. Someone's going to give it their best shot, Right? Um, after setting a very strong intention, then they're going to try to give it their best shot. But it's almost like this person's expectations is very concrete in that they expect what they expect. And then if they don't get it, then, well, forget it. You know, I tried and I'm not getting any response. And so I'm done. You know, that's it. So for some of you, this person um, may try. Okay. They're going to try to communicate and try to put themselves out there. But I do feel like someone's going to shut down and then just completely end the situation and cut it off. OK, um, so expect if you haven't heard from this person, um, you guys have taken a break. Ex definitely expect someone to contact the other person, um, which it's again, it's not going to come in the form of so much lovey dovey energy. It's more of an expectation of like, you know, demands and commands. And then that may turn someone off or shut a person down um, only to confirm that, you know what, this isn't going to work. And so if your intentions, Gemini, is to rush back into someone's life and kind of force them back into something, I would say this may not be the week that your plan or strategy will go um, the way you expect. OK, there's a little too much. Um, sharpness, harshness that someone isn't going to allow someone to open up, but in turn make them do the opposite. So I would, I would think twice about it. And in turn, if someone is doing this to you, not the best week for them to do this to you because you are going to shut down and then cut them off. So it needs to happen. Um, you and Sagittarius, so some of you could very well be dealing with a Sagittarius and this could have been going on for quite some time. This on again, off again, but Leo's are very prominent here as well. Um, and just really not sure what you want to do, where you want to go, what is this all about? You know, that sort of thing. Um, and really consequences of like, you know, it's now it's all or nothing and someone isn't completely ready for all of nothing, but there isn't much time to keep playing footsie. It's like, no, we're doing this now or not. Um, so the clock is kind of ticking. That's how I feel. The clock is ticking. Someone has all of, you know, three days, three weeks, hell, I heard three hours, three days, three weeks, three months. Cause these things are happening in this year's time. And with North Node about to approach your sign and I think in May of this year, yeah, not that many months left. Gemini's are going to do a 180 on people anyway. <laughs> I've been saying since last year. Get ready, Gemini. The North Node is coming for you. Karma is just around the corner. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, but it's usually good because it's North Node, right? So there's a lot of new um, karmic events that's going to come into your life that kind of like, you know, is going to like knock you off your feet. So 
yeah, this could be pro pretell to that. This could be that person coming that's already in your life and is major developments and you guys are on this rocky road, which it looks like you guys are taking a little bit of a rocky turn of events here. But truths are going to come out. So again, if you are the one speaking it or if you're awaiting truth, whoever's going to communicate with you, they're going to be honest. Don't think they're planning the games. They're being very honest with you. And I just get the underlying issue is commitment issue. Someone is has such a phobia with committing 100%. So that's what I have for you guys. If you're interested in the extended love reading, we're going to look at you and this person specifically. All of what we focus on is in the description box below. Click the link to the extended part of this reading and we'll finish up this love reading just looking specifically at this person when it has to do with you we're looking at um time frames past this week so a month two months down the line of what's going to happen between the two of you uh so click the description box to find out all the details and we'll finish up this love reading if you would like something uh, personal with me, click the link to my website and you can set something up for yourself. If you would like to share, please do so in the comment section below. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome to this channel. And don't forget to subscribe guys, because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Gemini.